So in a previous video, I talked about Amazon app updates. So I'm going to continue those updates in this video, but this time we're going to talk about the Amazon skill blueprints. Okay, so as always, we're going to go right into the Amazon app. Once you get into the app, you want to click on the three lines on the top left. Then you want to go down to blueprints. Now, before I get into the skill blueprints, you already know that skills are designed for the Amazon Alexa to do certain things. They might be used to connect a device to her or their skills to give you information like news brief, for instance. So Amazon has created this blueprints for you to take templates that's already pre-made and turn them into your own personal skills. And they basically work by just filling in the blanks. So right up top, you got discovery and you got your skills. Now, right now I don't have any skills. So as you can see, it's blank, but you can discover some skills that's already made. Well, the template, I should say, that's already made that you can fill in the blanks. So let's just do an overview of that. So right now, these are the feature skill. They got custom Q and A, and then they got chores chart, uh, whose turn, how many days and burns. But if you go back up to the top where it says feature, you got all, and these are all the skills that's available right now. You got home and it shows you, you know, different skills that you can use for your home. Then you got free time. So you can use those to play games with the kids, spell and be storytelling, stuff like that. Besides free time, you got learn. So in learn, you can do quiz, flashcard, facts, listening quiz, and story quiz. Next to that, you have fun. So you could play fun games like trivia, uh, jokes, stuff like that, birthday trivia. Besides fun, we got stories. So you can create interactive stories, you know, like fairy tale, sci-fi, adventure, stuff like that. Then you got greetings. So you can choose between birthday greetings, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and that pretty much update based on the time of the year. Next to greeting, we got orgs, which is organizations. So you got flash briefing, blogs, university, and spiritual talk. And finally, we have business. So you can create an onboard guide for new team members so they can ask different questions based on where stuff is inside the company. Or you can create a business Q&A to answer common questions within that business, especially for a new team member that's coming on board. So those are all the templates that's currently built into the skill blueprints. Now we're not gonna go through these one by one. I'm just gonna build one skill so you can see how it's done. Basically all of them walk you through the procedure of doing it. So for instance, if I go into business Q and A, it's gonna tell me what it's gonna do based on that skill. So I can listen to the example that they already provided there just to get an example of what I will be getting if I choose to modify this template. So let's play. Open Office Helper. Welcome. I can answer common questions like what are the hours for IT? What would you like to know? What are the hours for IT? The IT department is open between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. on the third floor of Building 2. Do you have another question? Yeah. So that was an example of what you can set up as far as a workplace Q&A. But we're not going to use that one as a template. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning where it says featured. And we're going to choose how many days. That's a good one right there because you might have a vacation coming up soon and you can set how many days you have left and you can just ask her. How many days to my beach vacation? So let's choose that template that says how many days. Now I'm going to go down to where it says, okay, how to create. I'm going to name the event, choose the date of the event, customize the phrase and the sound, name the skill, share the skill with friends and family. Below that, it says how to use the skill. So it says use the skill by saying how many days until dot 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 and based on how many days are left in the event she's going to come back and respond and let you know that so right at the bottom we have make your own so we're going to click make your own and the first step is schedule so we're going to set up the schedule let's put the name of the event and we're going to say i don't know i'm gonna put cruise and then i'm going to choose a date so let's go all the way to, let's say, May 7th. And then we're going to set that. Is this an annual event? 
no. Now you can add more to this event if you want to. Like say I add another event. So this time I'm going to name this one family reunion. And then the date of the event. And I'm just making up days here, say April 15. And then I'm going to set. So now I have two events set up. I have a cruise and a family reunion. But I can keep adding events if I really wanted to. But I'm going to stick with those two and move on to the next step. So step two is all about the experience. So this is how she's going to respond to you in an opening line when you ask her how many days to whatever. So right now she can say great news, another day closer, I'm happy to report, and you're getting closer. Now I can add an additional opening line if I wanted to, or I can click the X and remove any one of these if I don't like them. So I'm going to add an additional line and I'm going to say, hey, see it chart and leave that one like that so now she's gonna say hey chart you have blah 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 and that's gonna be based on one of the random opening line that she choose at the bottom of the opening line you got closing lines so she's gonna say you must be excited better start getting ready it's gonna be a great time can't wait until the big day so just like how I add an opening line, I can add a closing line by clicking the plus sign and add whatever line I want to add to the message. But we're going to skip the closing line. So let's click next. So in step three, basically what you're doing right here is naming the skill. Just make sure you follow the example that they set for you right here when they say for best result, use common words like my event tracker or big day. And depending on what name you use, if you're having trouble opening the skill, it says you can come back and rename it. So don't think that name in the name now is permanent. If it's something that you choose, but you realize it's not working, just come back in here, rename it, and you're good to go. So I named mine chart events. So I'm going to click create, and then it's going to go to the process of creating that skill. And it says it's going to take a couple minutes. Once the skill is ready, all I have to do is just try it out. So it's in the process of creating a skill, as you can see on the top left with the little spinny dial to let you know that it's working. Now while it's working, we can just look at what it says. The status, skill is being created, visibility, just me, how many days, that's the name of the blueprint. Then these are the things I can try saying like how many days until cruise, when is the family reunion, and open chart events. If I go down to the skill description, it says open the skill. It will automatically tell you how many days remain until your upcoming events and so forth. So in the what's next section, you can tell your household about your skill, come back and edit it at any time, publish your skill to the public so other people can actually download it and add it to their Echo device. That's your choice. Okay, so now let's scroll back up and see if the skill is ready. Okay, the skill is created. Okay, so now that the skill is created, let's do some demo and see if the skill is active on my account. How many days until my cruise? Another day closer. Cruise is 130 days away. It's going to be a great time. When is the family reunion? Hey, Chard. Family reunion is on Wednesday, April 15, 2020, which is 108 days away. You must be excited. Yes, I am. Open Chard events. Hey, Chard. Cruise is on Thursday, May 7th, which is 130 days away. Family reunion is on Wednesday, April 15th, which is 108 days away. You must be excited. Oh yeah. So as you can see, you can ask how many days to that event. You can ask when is the event, or you can just open your entire events and she will go to them one by one all the way down to the bottom of the list. You can create your own skills now by using the blueprint. So go ahead and explore them and see what skill that you can apply. Some of them are really useful, especially the ones for your work. You might have a company that you're trying to get people on board and that business Q&A is really useful for people coming on board. You can actually put one of those echo dots in their office and they can ask where things are like the cafeteria, IT and human resources, especially if you're one of those buildings where it has multiple floor. That will really help out that new person that's starting that job. If you have a big house and people want to know where the bathrooms are and stuff like that, you can set up one of those skills like a Q&A to let them know where the bathroom is, 
where this is and where that is so they won't be struggling trying to figure out how to get around and you don't have to be that guide for them and i'm talking about family members you probably don't want strangers walking around your house like that now this is just one skill that i just covered there are many more in there that you can explore so just go ahead and explore those skills and see how you can apply them to your daily lifestyle okay so now that you've created your own blueprint skill and you want to share it with others you want to go over to your skill and right now it says visibility just me so I want to click on that one and then I want to go down to the bottom where it says edit delete share or publish I want to click on share now before you try to share this skill you want to make sure that no sensitive data can be accessed because you don't want to share anything that has private information so be careful when you're publishing skills especially if you publish it to the skill store where anybody in the world can access it now if you're getting this error message like i'm getting where it says sorry this browser isn't supported just go down to the bottom where it says for more shared option you want to highlight that blueprints.amazon.com copy that then all you have to do is go into a browser and paste that web address that you just copied and then just go straight to that address and then that's going to take you into the web version of that same link that it was trying to get into so you want to go to the three lines on the top right and then you want to select the first one on the list that says skills you've made then i want to go to that one that i made which is chart events and then it's going to come up looking just like it did when i created it in the amazon alexa app so i want to click on share this time again so the first question you're going to hit with is is this skill intended for kids under 13 if it's no move on if it's yes then you just have to follow the procedures to make sure the kids are protective of their privacy so here are your share options you can send it as a text message you can send it through whatsapp you can send it through an email you can share it on facebook twitter pinterest or you can just copy the link send it through another app that's not available here and once they get that link all they have to do is follow the procedure of connecting that skill to their echo device and now they'll be able to do the same thing like you're doing where you're asking for the events and this is good to create a skill if you're having a family reunion event for instance and then everybody can get the link they can connect it to their echo device and then they can ask how many days are left when is the actual event because they probably forgot the date and now it's built into their echo device and everybody got access to it within the family okay so the event is over and you want to make sure nobody can access your events because the rest of the event belongs to you so you want to go to that same skill that you made which mine is chart events right now it says visibility is shared and beside that I have a button that says revoke so all I have to do is click on that click revoke access and then it's just going to eliminate the skill from being accessed from anybody else then after a few minutes of it revoking the access it's going to come back and say just me now the other option you have of sharing is publishing which means it will be available to any john and jane smith but i can't stress it enough you got to make sure if you're going public with your skill make sure you don't have any private information in it because if you do that and you forget and you put that private information out there you cannot blame anybody but yourself not me, not Amazon, not even Alexa. And if you plan on publishing, all you have to do is follow the steps, just like I show you in the sharing process, how you can share it with your friends and family. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.